Meanwhile, very jubilant English fans celebrated their team's victory over tournament co-host Australia at the World Cup yesterday. England, which had been knocked out in the semifinals of the past two Women's World Cups, beat Australia 3-1 to in Sydney and sealed its place in the final, where the team will face Spain. It is the first time either team has reached a Women's World Cup final. CBS News senior foreign correspondent Charlie Daggett is following the latest from London. Charlie, good morning. First off, what happened in this match? Good morning to you, Wendy. You know, it was a nail-biter, and we have to kind of frame this that uh, they were inside the stadium, you know, facing not just Australia, but 75,000 fans who are rooting against them. Australia hosting the tournament. It's always fun for countries like Australia to beat England, like the United States, for all kinds of reasons. So that is what they stepped into, and they had a tough fight. Uh, Ella Toon was the first one uh, to draw blood. Uh, from England, scoring first. But then, just after the half, Sam Kerr, who's this incredible Australian striker, uh, equalized, tied up the game. Lauren Hemp then scored the next goal, which put England ahead. And then uh, Alicia Russo sealed the deal in the end and put uh, England into the World Cup. And this is historic, because, as you said, it's never happened in the history of England's uh, women's team. In fact, it, it hasn't happened for the men's team since 1966. What's the reaction been over there in the UK? I assume extremely excited. <laughs> to say the least. I'm just looking at some of the headlines. So I said 1966, so dreaming of 66. It's crazy. That, that was before I was born, and it's all they talk about here is 1966, the last time England won. So now we're looking at, you know, the women's team winning. We've waltzed past the Matildas. That's the, the line here, the Australian team. So everybody's really excited. The, the, uh, the final is on Sunday. Um, they're talking about pubs opening early, which is always a good sign. <laughs> and there have also been people who have said, look, if they win, we should have, like, a public holiday. We should have a bank holiday. Well, Let's see what Sunday brings. Yeah, they're getting a little ahead of themselves. Either England or Spain will be crowned the champion, as we've talked about. So what has the route to the final been like for both teams? Yeah, Wendy, you know, both very, very good teams. And it meant that they had to get past some very good teams. Uh, for England, they had to get through. It went down to penalties. So I wouldn't say they're lucky to be here because they got through on penalties. Uh, but they're also very good teams. They, they, they both deserve to be there because they bet. Now, neither one of these have, has come through uh, on a fluke. Now, Spain defeated Sweden in its last game. Sweden defeated the United States. So that just puts a sort of reference as far as how both of these teams have got here. And it's kind of going to be equal pegging. Uh, Spain's team is... Yeah, relatively young, uh, but for both of these teams, it's the first time that they will have faced um, a championship. So it's going to be a good match. Yeah, you're an American in London. Are you going to root for England, I assume? Of course, it's my second home. <laughs> I've, I've got a British wife. I've got British children, of course. I, in fact, I've been rooting for them throughout the tournament. Now, when the United States plays England, then I'm a little <laughs> bit torn. Right. Uh, but in this case, yeah, I'm all in. Thanks, Charlie. Thank you.